if you're doing things right, it won't seem like you're doing anything at all. Like every chemical compound has different properties, so too does the ship's wildcard scientist. Are you a virus expert? Firewall master? Program booster? Search jockey? All of the above is but a drop in the world of possibilities when it comes to how you conduct your business as a science officer. Welcome to the science tutorial, where we'll be learning how to use your screens during combat, maintaining and keeping the captain informed of the comm screen, finding materials to process for research during away missions, and about the computer systems tab. In the tab menu, under talents, you will find a list. Any talents that are green, you're going to want to prioritize. These are your unique scientist talents. There aren't a lot of specific scientist talents, so allocating points in physical talents like health, carry capacity, and damage to make yourself more helpful in combat during away missions after you get your class specific talents isn't a bad idea. You're also going to want to send your healing gun to the engineer in exchange for their phase pistol. Since the engineer is more inclined towards healing during away missions. Putting a point into scanner mode research materials is an absolutely mandatory requirement. A few tips regarding research. You have control over the abilities your crew gain access to. They are relying on you to make balanced decisions that help the whole crew during the course of the voyage. A lot of the best class specific talents you can research belong to the engineer, and you're also going to want to research scanner mode item pickups as soon as you can. Ultimately, how you spend and research talents is up to you, but there is also the added responsibility of keeping your research going to ensure others have good abilities to spend their points in. Listen to any requests and inform any crew members if you're researching a talent for them, so they can save some of their points for when it's finished. During space combat, you're going to be very busy on your science screens. Knowing how to use all three efficiently in combat will drastically increase your crew's chances at survival. The most important screen is the one labeled computer. If there is a full system shutdown, you will unlock the screens from here upon the engineer's request. In the Systems tab, you'll see EM Detection, Signature, and Cyber Defense, all of which we'll talk about in the next section. What is important is the current shield frequency. The bar under Shield Frequency Mode will change depending on the incoming damage. If it's to the left of the center, then you're taking primarily energy damage, and you'll want to set shields to modulate. If it's to the right, then you're taking kinetic damage, and will want to set shields to static. This will help mitigate incoming damage. The Programs tab has all the ship's available programs which are fully at your disposal. They all have very clear descriptions, and you can activate them at your discretion, However, the most important program is the Shield Booster, which will be needed to be activated every time the shields are below 30%. You can see how the ship's shields are doing at any time at the top right of the screen. The dots below a program indicate how many fuel charges it requires, which varies depending on the jump drive. You will need to ask the engineer for a manual program recharge, which I will expand upon further during the system section of this tutorial. The search tab is not as necessary, but can be used to great effect. On your sensor screen, you'll see a list of currently detected ships. Yours will always be at the top. If you need to boost detection for any reason, for example you're in a nebula or the target is in stealth, you can do an active scan at any time. Clicking on any ship will give you a bunch of important stats, including faction, hostility, and whether or not they can detect you back. It will also give you a GX code, which you can type into the search function to find a 
full data entry of their ship. Simply click the GX setting on the search screen and input the corresponding number. The sensor screen will also allow you to scan parts of other ships to reveal things like how many crew members they have or what weapons their system is equipped with. Using your sensor dish on a target will boost your detection further, giving access to six more options next to the system scan on the sensor screen. From here, you can choose to dampen and cripple certain systems like shield regeneration or weapon output depending on the situation. The last screen is your virus management screen. From here, you can see all currently transmitting viruses, incoming and outgoing. When there are incoming viruses, they will weaken your cyber defense until they break through and start wreaking havoc on various systems. At this point, you have two options. Use the instant antivirus program to try to purge the system, or remove the virus using the manual removal program. This is accessed by clicking the red square that appears next to any active virus that has broken through your cyber defense. Next, you'll see a string of 16 numbers. Establish the number pattern and find where there's an error in the pattern. That's the number you have to click to clear the virus. Beware! Failure to click the right number may infect you with more viruses. You should now know how to use your screens during combat. Congratulations! Outside of combat, when you're not doing research, you'll be the first to know what's in each sector immediately leaving a jump, thanks to your sensor screen. Let your captain know if any potentially hostile ships are in the immediate area. Check to see if the captain has an incoming message and inform them if they do. If there is a non-hostile ship, ask if the captain would like to hail them. Then do a sensor sweep as a security check for any ambushes or unwanted surprises. A quick look around with your sensor dish for any scrap and you should be all set to return to your research. You can use the search screen to find out additional details on various sectors around the galaxy using the SE setting or looking up random entries on the GX setting. On the computer screen, EM detection refers to how easy you can detect other ships. You'll want to make sure this is above at least 10 and it can be upgraded via the sensor array. EM signature refers to how easy you are to detect. The lower the better, and cyber defense refers to how well your ship's firewall defends against viruses and can be upgraded via the Arc CD processor chip. You should now know how to maintain the comm screen and detection signatures. Congratulations! On an away mission, it's up to you to use your sensor screen to inform the crew of any hazards on the planet before warping down to the surface. For example, freezing temperatures or thick atmosphere. Once the need for an exosuit has been established, you'll want to warp down and begin to check your scanner for any research materials. If you hold the scanner in your hand, you'll be able to see further than if you keep it minimalized on the top left. If there are hostile entities guarding research material, point them out to the weapons specialist. If you wander off alone, be expected to hold your own in a fight. Almost every planet has some research materials to find, so leave no stone unturned and leave no plant unplucked. Once the business is concluded on the planet and you've collected everything, bring them to the atomizer. If you're unsure if something is a research material, it will always tell you in the item's description on the inventory screen. Once atomized, you'll notice that the numbers next to the symbols at the top of the research screen have gone up. Keeping track of which of these you need for research will help you manage which talents you are going to research next and it's better to save your research materials than to use them on a talent that no one is going to use. You can look at your crew's current talent allocations using the arrows in the talent section of the tab menu to further help you decide what to research next. Look through the research options that are available to you and make strong decisions based on your crew's playstyle. 
keep an eye on any options you don't have the materials for yet, and work towards finding materials for those projects. If you're unsure what to research, consult the captain. If you are in need of more materials, request a visit to an unexplored planet or an away mission. You should now know how to find and process research materials. Congratulations! In the tab menu, under the ship tab, you'll see a category marked miscellaneous and one marked computer. Keep an eye on the miscellaneous tab after acquiring scrap. If you've picked up something that goes in the computer tab that is better than what you currently have, kindly inform your captain when they're not busy that there's a possible upgrade to the computer in cargo. At trading posts, skim the programs, viruses, and processors they have available and make recommendations to your captain if there are any upgrades. If you find that your antivirus or sensor dish is lacking, request to have them upgraded by engineering when you get to a trading post. It will take time to become acquainted with the various systems in the computer tab, understand what programs to install and when upgrading your dish and antivirus is necessary. You will also want to look at the jump drive in the basics tab, primarily the program charge per fuel stat. This tells you how many charges you will regenerate to your programs each jump and each manual program charge so you can ask for the right amount of fuel capsules to be loaded by your engineer during combat. Knowing your corresponding system is the difference between an expert scientist and a master scientist, and you should now have a basic understanding of the computer systems tab. Congratulations! The scientist is in charge of activating programs, disabling viruses, and using the scanner dish to dampen enemy systems during combat as well as collecting research materials and researching abilities. Use Space CRISPR to play god with your crew's DNA. Ruin your enemy's day with viruses or shut down AOG trolls with your pattern recognition skills. Thank you for attending this seminar on the Scientist Class Basics, and go forth with confidence into that final frontier. Data analysis complete. Here it comes!